Okay. We're in business. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Ahoite avitaiche namoyom kanali. Hello to all my new subscribers and hello to all those passers by. Why don't you click the subscribe button and check out all my other videos and leave me a comment telling me you're a new subscriber and I will say hello back. And to all my oldies, hello. I got mad love for you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. So in this video, as you can tell by the title, I will be approaching the subject of religion. Religion. Do we talk about religion? Do we not? Do people like to talk about religion? Not really. People get a bit tetchy about religion. So hopefully the video, my video won't be, won't serve to anger some people. <laughs> but that said, we are just going to go and dive straight into the video and talk about religion. So when I told my husband that I'm going to be doing a video about Slovakia and religion, he was like, really? You sure you want to do that? Religion is a very sensitive subject as a whole anyway, and Slovakia, it might be, especially what I'm about to talk about. I, I asked you to watch this video with an open mind and listen to my views and my comments at the end. And uh, let me know what you think by leaving me a comment down below. So I will start by telling you the reason why I'm doing this video in particular. Um, I do get a few comments and a few questions, a few emails about um, people who want to move to Slovakia and they want to know what the um, kind of the culture is in Slovakia, uh, but also a few questions about the religion in Slovakia as well. And does Slovakia accept um, people of different religions. So I thought I'd just do this video and tell people about what I have learned and just provide some wisdom and hopefully it serves to educate some people who don't know and are planning to move to Slovakia. I think it is worth knowing that by all accounts Slovakia is a Christian country. It is made up of about 62% Roman Catholics. So Catholics come under the Pope and the, the, the um, leadership of the Pope. Um, the other percentages are made up of Protestants and Evangelical and um, other subgenres of Christianity. So in all essence, it is a Christian country with uh, the majority of the population being Roman Catholics. So to bring that even more into context, just bear in mind that Slovakia has a population of about 5.5 million people, of which 3.3 million of those are Roman Catholics. About almost 400,000 are evangelical. We have about 200,000 who are um, Greek Catholics. Then you have the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Methodists, the Orthodox, etc. That all comes under Christianity. So pre-war there were circa 90,000 Jews living in Slovakia. Um, and from the last census that was was done, it was registered that there's about probably about two two thousand three hundred now residing in Slovakia, so a very small population. Um, and another question I get asked, or the main question I do get asked, is about um, Islam and Muslims. Um, it is worth knowing that there is around a population of about five thousand Muslims living in Slovakia. So again, a very small proportion. Of people just to round up what I said Slovakia is a Christian country okay so fun fact Slovakia is the third most Catholic Slavic country coming third to Croatia and Poland so when it comes to Slovakia and other religions you may remember in 2016 the Slovak government passed the bill or where two-thirds of the members of parliament voted that the threshold should be doubled from 25,000 to 50,000 number of, uh, of people in a religion for it to be recognised as uh, an organisation in Slovakia. So bear in mind the numbers that I said before of, of other religions that weren't Christian, I think they've got quite a long way to go before Slovakia accepts them as a organisation, which means they get government funding, etc. You may also remember when we had the crisis in Turkey that Slovakia publicly confirmed that they will take refugees but only refugees who are Christians. So that just goes to show that Slovakia is a Christian country and by all accounts wants to maintain that status. Um, various reason was given by the politicians um, and I think it's just about keeping that um, the feel of Slovakia um, and keeping it very much a Christian state. How do I feel about everything I've just said about um, Slovakia and, and it's, I don't know, 
unwillingness to accept any other religions. Now for me, I was born a Christian, my, my family are Christians, so therefore I was born into a Christian um, kind of environment. I don't believe in religion per se, I believe in people being spiritual and um, that there is a higher being than us, but I feel like religion just separates people, I'm Christian or I'm Muslim or I'm Jehovah's Witness or I'm this, that and the other and it's just um, and if you think about religion and where it comes from, it always comes from a person. A person has started a religion and people have bolted onto it. So it's like a following. Um, and it's just, throughout the years, just separates people. Um, so therefore, I don't personally believe in religion, but I do believe in spirituality and I do believe in living a good, wholesome life and just abiding by moral rules of just being a nice person. So religion, no, spirituality, yes. So, however, having been to a country which is very strict with their religion, such as Dubai, um, a few years ago my friends and I went to Dubai and we went to, during fasting season and it was, they expected it, everybody, including tourists, to abide by that rule that we are fasting, therefore the restaurants are barricaded, um, you cannot do this, um, you cannot do that, and it was very, very strict. And whether we'd gone in fasting season or not, I think it's quite a strict country anyway, because of their religion and what they believe in. Therefore, when you go to that country, you almost have to abide by their rules, their regulations and, and their laws. So I, I understand why they want to keep it like that. Um, therefore, by all accounts, I need to understand why Slovakia wants to keep um, Slovakia a Christian country. Um, but yeah, that said, there are still people who will use any kind of reason why they should keep Slovakia a predominantly Christian white country. So <clears throat> there are people who will argue you, you should accept people who are Christian regardless of their race. Then there's some people who said we shouldn't accept anybody who isn't uh, of our race. Uh, it just depends on people's school of thinking and definitely by doing YouTube I, I'm exposed to a lot of people's opinions and people's comments, be it positive or negative, so I know exactly how some people do feel about um, Slovakia and trying to keep Slovakia, maintain it in that very kind of like Slavic uh, European style. So um, yeah, but for me, just to end on this, I personally think that yeah, religion just serves to separate people. Um, <laughs> that's just how it is and it's just the way it is because us humans as a race cannot get along. <laughs> Anyway, God, that was heavy. That was some heavy stuff, wasn't it? That was that was kind of a bit too heavy for my channel. Thank you so much, though, for watching. For those who did watch and watch to the end, I am really interested to hear about your comments, especially on this subject. Um, let me know below or send me a, an email. Let me know what you think about um, religion as a whole. And let me know if you agree. Should so I could just quite try and keep his Christian state or... Um, should it be a little bit more open-minded to other religions as well? And what would that do for the future of, of Slovakia? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share and most importantly comment. And I will catch you guys next Sunday. Ciao. Bye. So fun fact, Slovakia is the third most Catholic Slavic. So fun fact, Slovakia is the third most so fun fact, Slovakia is the third most... <laughs> I can't say it! Oh, I can't say it! What is wrong with me today? I'm tongue-tied.